Hey, welcome Build Show Network. We're here in New England. We're in the basement of the Ranch Remodel. And we're here to talk about basement spaces. Now, in New England, people love basements because they think they're free space. Oh, I can remodel it and I get that nice playroom for the kids or whatever. But one of the problems with New England basements is you end up with windows like that, right? That window doesn't make a quality space. So let's take a minute here. We're gonna jump into the craft room here in the ranch remodel and we're gonna talk about how we solve that problem. All right, so we're here in the client's craft room home office. This is located in the basement. It's below grade, probably, you know, grades at about five or six feet here. And we talked about the problems of New England basements, right? Those small windows, they don't bring in a lot of light. I can't get out of there in case there's a fire. There's no egress component to those basement windows. So how did we solve that problem? Well, you can see here, we actually built a little concrete retaining wall on the outside of these windows. We can open this up and we can take a nice clear look at it, what's happening out there. And that retaining wall is doing a couple things. One, it's obviously holding back the ground so we get these deeper windows in here. But two, it gives me the ability to climb out of here in case there was a fire, right? The egress requirements are such that they have to be below 44 inches and the window opening has to be at least 20 by 24 inches in either orientation. So I needed to be able to climb out. Now, I know I could just hop out here, but we don't have time for my acrobatics here today on the build show so we're just going to talk about it um, so we have this little trough out there this is actually the ground is going to be brought up there this is a full draining cavity that goes down to the perimeter drain we're going to have a little stepping stone of a retaining wall timber wall in front of that we're going to have some nice green foliage coming down off the face of that wall over the smaller retaining wall so we have our steps out of here should we ever need to use this as an egress component. But when it's not being used as an egress component, understand that I could sit here and now I'm in the basement, but I don't have that small basement window anymore. I have a full height window. And in this case, I have two of them in my craft room. So the homeowner can sit down here. She can work in her craft room, her home office, close her French doors and be in her own little world and have that natural light and the quality of living that you get upstairs. That's how you do a New England basement. All right, so we talked about it. We saw that egress window. Let's talk about what it looks like in an architectural drawing format. Let's talk about some of the restrictions that can get, get imposed on egress windows in basements. So here we are, basement section. We have this retaining wall section here, you can see. That falls out, it actually turns the corner and corrals that window opening but more importantly you'll notice that you know the height of this roughly about 36 inches the requirement is 44 inches that we have to be below so that someone can actually crawl out the window the window opening has to be 20 by 24 inches in opening at a minimum so that somebody can crawl out or a fireman can crawl in um, whatever the case is, we have that ability. These windows, you saw how big they are downstairs. But more importantly, you see outside here, there's a lot of aspects that play or come into play here that are beyond just having a pretty window and a pretty opening providing light to that room, right? We have the water management aspect. I'm putting a hole in here that's going to get filled with rain, snow, et cetera, et cetera. Well, what happens to that water? We have a drain that drains down and it goes down into our perimeter drain. Remember, water management, number one control layer, number one concern in everything that we do. All of our risk management hinges on dealing with water first. Water is the number one killer of buildings. We got to solve for water, right? Notice that it's not only the lower trough that is water managed, but the upper base is water managed also in that the stone has the ability to drain and perk down into that perimeter drain and then gets whisked away due to gravity taken off site. But this also gives the ability for someone to crawl out, get out to this surface here, and then get up. We have a little stepping surface here which will eventually become plantings and they'll drape over the little timber retaining wall there. So when I'm looking out, 
not only do I get that nice stream of daylight coming in through the larger windows, but I get to look out and see some greenery and some landscape there softening it up. And, you know, we could even potentially have some plantings here that we have to work out with the landscaper to get some stuff to grow up over that wall and get a nice green curtain of natural vegetation happening there. But, uh, you know, that's our uh, egress basement. You see it here in section. If you saw it down there in real life, you know, it's going to perform as a great room. It's a great way to go from having that really small basement window and expanding it to a much larger window in the basement. Also providing that egress down there should you want to change that, win that room into a bedroom or use it as some other function. You get to use it safely in the notion that someone can get out of this building in uh, case of a fire and they can get out of here safely. And so it's not always about bringing in that good light. It's about the life safety issue of living in the basement too. So that about wraps it up for the video here on our egress basement window. Look forward to seeing you next time on the Build Show Network.